Hey, what's happening? Jason Woodland here with Always the Journey TV. Uh, thank you uh, very much for joining me again. I sincerely appreciate you uh, checking out these videos. I'm going to be spending a little bit more time on YouTube, just sort of cultivating this channel. I'm having a good time with it. Um, I, I've been spending a lot of time with, uh, of course, Facebook and Instagram and so forth throughout the years, but I want to spend a little bit more time over here for fun. Anyway, I uh, wanted to share a piece of news that came out today about Coca-Cola Corporation and how they're pairing back their product line uh, by about 200 brands. Now, of course, if you follow Coca-Cola at all, it's obviously a monstrous company and one of the most well-recognized brands in history. Um, but anyway, some of the brands they're getting rid of are sort of surprising. Uh, Tab being one of them. First of all, who the heck still drinks Tab? Uh, you know, you still see it on the, on the shelves. It only takes up a very small portion of the shelf anymore. But it is interesting that it's still around. That was sort of like the quintessential, quintessential 80s drink. So anyway, uh, that's sort of uh, an interesting one they're finally getting rid of. Uh, they did announce, I think it was about four months ago, that they're getting rid of Odwalla, which was their juice line. Um, I was sort of surprised to see that one. Um, let's see, what was another one that they're getting rid of? Um, I mean, there's actually a handful. They, they have, uh, let's see, Zico. I'm not very familiar with that particular drink myself. Um, but they did say that they were also going to be pairing back some of their, uh, uh, sort of their, their hydration category. Um, that includes uh, Dasani, uh, Powerade, Vitamin Water. Um, honestly, I love Vitamin Water. Um, I also like uh, Powerade. Uh, some of those Powerades are, are quite good. Um, I don't know if they're, if they're getting rid of those particular brands or if they're just pairing back. Um, but there's a couple of things here that I wanted to uh, uh, share regarding this matter. Is that I think it's a very good move, first of all. Um, the thing that we do in business oftentimes is that we try to be everything to everyone. And so what happens is that our product line starts increasing, 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 and, and, and it sometimes gets a little bit out of control. Um, having diversity in terms of your product line um, and diver diversification of product line is, is definitely a good thing, but you can also over diversify and apparently some of these particular products that they were looking at um, either reducing or getting rid of really only made up about 2% of their, their overall profit category. And it reminds me of how we sort of run our small businesses. Um, if, we have, if we have over diversification in terms of our product, um, we're, not, we're not spending or focusing the proper amount of time in our most profitable categories. And I think that's really imperative for small businesses to be taking a look at at this point is, as well during this time is to put a heavier focus in the positions of higher profitability and not try to be everything to everyone. You're actually seeing that across a few different companies and you've actually been seeing that over the last uh, three to five years. You also saw it uh, with uh, Olive Garden. Uh, they start paring back their menus. In my opinion, their, their menu is a slam dunk at this point much, much better. It's more pared back. It's more simple. Um, it sort of reminds me of that, uh, the TV show on uh, 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 Netflix, Shit's Creek. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's hilarious. But anyway, the cafe, they often make fun of how, how it has this huge multi-fold menu. And uh, what happens there is, of course, if you have over-diversification, you're going to have uh, less of a, a focus on your, on your core products not only in terms of profitability, but also in terms of quality. So anyway, I think it's a good move that Coca-Cola is making this decision. Um, I think Tab, um, I'm honestly dumbfounded that it, that it has stayed on the roster for as long as it has. But anyway, congratulations there. Um, throw down in the comments, tell me what, uh, what product that you're going to miss the most uh, out of the ones that we know of, because they're getting rid of about 200 products. They haven't, uh, they haven't said which products in its entirety quite yet, uh, but we do know Tab and Odwalla um, are going to be goners. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, thank you again very much for uh, uh, following this channel. I'd love for you to subscribe um, and also hit the like button if you liked it. Uh, hit the dislike button if you didn't like it. Uh, either way, it's all good. Throw a comment in. 
Uh, but uh, please, I, I'd love for you to uh, uh, subscribe to my uh, channel that I'm putting more folks on. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. Again, this is Jason Woodland with Always the Journey TV. And uh, have a wonderful rest of your week. Thanks.